Hey, what's up, America? Happy Memorial Day. You know, this, this hit my flag, right? I had another flag. Why is it folded up Memorial Day? Well, put my post out, but I have certain um, infiltrators be causing dissension, and they would have took my flag because they ain't got no respect for America. Whoa! Lord be praised, Lord be praised. I got angels. I got two more angels with trumpets. Amen. So, let's make this pizza for Memorial Day. I already threw together the dough. Two cups flour. One cup of, uh... uh <laughs> excuse me. One eighth cup of yeast. About a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of garlic, and that was it. Making a cheeseburger pizza. You walk on by, yeah, you're gonna do the walk, you're gonna do the walk on by, yeah. I really want to pay attention to my crust this time. I'm gonna get a little nice and thin, make sure it's done in the center. Because last time I had it, it was off the I made one on the on the on the um, grill out back, and I really didn't pay attention, really measure out well. Yeah, what is that? Oh, okay. Looked like a bug for a second. Something else. <laughs> Just as nasty, but it wasn't a bug. Cause bug has ug next to it. Bug and ug go together. You know what I mean? Bug and ug. Two friends I ain't trying to have. All right, this is the last of last year's fresh. Yes, I'm like, yeah, I saved it that long. One of the things about um, freezing products is like I have a product like this and I will seal it almost with the pasta sauce. So when I put this much away, it's a little piece of uh, corn star shit didn't come together. I heated this up once already and made it into a sauce. That's why it's not watery. But, um, so when I do that, it really retains the integrity of the sauce. And for this sauce to last that long, oh, uh, well, I don't know. This is starting to look like, all right. Don't quote me on the fact that it's uh, a vine ripened. Like, I tell you the truth, man. This could be some of that Winko stuff because it's got more than the flavors that I normally, oh, that's right, I added stuff when I, then I fixed it, all right. When I, when I do something from Vine Ripe, I don't like to put a lot of spices in it. It had fresh basil, um, a hair of fresh garlic, and um, then just uh, Vine Ripe tomatoes. But I had a whole bunch of them, you know, everybody gets all these tomatoes at once. Well, I make sure that I cook them really well, make a real nice sauce, and then I freeze it up. And yeah, so. From November till now, October till now, from harvest till now. That's the way old American kitchens used to run, man. You're like, go faster, chef. I'm like, I'm making this food, dude. Yeah, I'm sitting here being grumbly because of certain situations, but you know. I gotta give myself this blessing and this hurrah, besides my whole family and all that. I'll tell you about that. That was pretty awesome. Um, was, uh, I'm not having seizure episodes anymore. That's a pretty good bonus. I have to catch myself. I can get close. They're not really seizures. I've always explained. They're extreme body spasms. If there are Charlie horses that'll make you go, wah, wah, mommy, wah. I'd never say mommy, but I'd be like, wah. I'll talk to Jesus. I talk to my sister, and I, I, I'm like, I'm on the phone while I'm having one of my arm hurt like hell, right? And, and I said, you know, I'm talking about pain. I said, you know, I get these spasms in my arm and shoulders. They'll make it so I can't sleep, but they don't make me just ball out. I'll take off but it because it's and I told her straight up I said the muscles not that big <laughs> but when you get a spasm that takes your whole leg it's mega pain 
So I ain't having those really bad anymore through the blessing of, um, yeah, those who wait upon the Lord, but you definitely gotta do your work sometimes. You have to feel that you're really, you're like, wait upon the Lord, what does that mean? It means that like, sometimes in life, you just ain't gonna force what you're gonna get. Sometimes you just can't force it. But, and other times you gotta help it along. So, and, and to find the medium between the two, I think is an important thing that um, a lot of people, you know, live in the simple joys like Chewbacca Mama, <laughs> like she said at the end, and the simple things, you know? Everybody's viral on that. It's all good, man. It's like, Live in the simple things, and when the big things get taken care of, be very humble and thankful. And the sun is shining, yeah. If y'all knew what I was going through right now, you will in my book. In my book, you'd be like, what, chef? I'm like, yeah, man. The eye of Thor, man. All right, Google 10 armored car robberies. Right around the corner from here. I met some people and some da 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 I had to research it because it happened so long ago before the internet. And I were friends <laughs> back when I was running amok on the streets on a motorcycle. And anyways, I was like, that's the only place that thousand dollar bill could have come from. <laughs> it's number one or number three in the list. I seen different lists. Yeah. All over at the little Taco Bell over the corner. This girl comes out. I meet her up in Springfield. She was on my bike. I had to go in and take care of this business, right? She says, what did you do? First six bikers circled the building and then five cops. Really? Made a phone call. <laughs> then went in and handled what I need to do peacefully. A little concerned about the people in the, in the place because I didn't like meeting in a place like that, especially when somebody was talking that violence was after me. I don't like bringing around people, but the whole thing was a bunch of lie. It wasn't me bringing violence. Of course, as usual, I try to be out there being a peacemaker and a stopgap for violence. The violence in this life that we allow to accept. The violence we will not accept, the violence that we are born to deal with, is what I'm doing. And through all that, the suffering and sacrifice that you give to yourself and to others, and the compassion and love to see it through. That's some heavy stuff right there. All that in one rapid, kind of some, something called America, something called honor and love and respect, and that's Memorial Day, man. Don't look back. Cause sometimes once it's done, it's done. You gotta move on, man. Move on. Don't look back. Yeah, yeah. That's the show, yeah. That's how we go. Don't look back. Uh, I could put that monster garlic on there, but I don't want to. Put that little bit of Parmesan. I've got a thing of Fagato in there, I think frozen, I don't want to pull it out. But I do have lettuce and tomato. Peace. Don't look back, you know. Amen.